One question that I've been getting a lot since posting my last video about photography for filmmakers is how I actually edit my photos. So today I thought I would dive into my process of editing photos inside of DaVinci Resolve. So you might be wondering, why would you edit your photos in DaVinci Resolve versus Lightroom or any of the other photo-based editing apps? And there's a few really good reasons why I think you should take your photos into Resolve. If you haven't seen my last video about photography for filmmakers, definitely check that out first. That's gonna give you a lot of information about my process of taking photos and my philosophy behind taking photos as a filmmaker. I think that would be a great place to start and then come back here to see how we take it through post. Also, real quick, all of the music in this video is from Artlist. Artlist has an amazing catalog of music that you can use for any of your video projects. And I've used a lot of music licensing sites, and I have to say that Artlist has some of the best selection out there with some really quality tracks. So if you're interested in using Artlist, you can use the link in the description and you'll get two months free off any annual plan when you purchase through that link. So the first reason why I prefer Resolve is just for precision. Lightroom is a great software, but there are some limitations as far as how deep you can get into some of the things I'm interested in, like film emulation. For me, while there are ways to kind of create film-like colors inside of Lightroom, it's lacking some of the tools that I like to use to create that texture that we associate with film. Especially things like halation and film blur and grain, those things are possible to achieve in Lightroom, but I just find it a lot more intuitive to handle inside of Resolve. The other reason why I like using Resolve is because it's good practice. When I'm working with a client on a paid project, that's not really the time to be experimenting necessarily, and sometimes you're not trying to create a film emulation look. But when I'm able to practice color grading on my own still images, it's just a fun experiment in you know how far I can push an image. So for me, the tools and the practice are the main reasons why I like grading my images inside of Resolve. Now, there are a couple downsides to Resolve versus Lightroom. Lightroom really excels from a photo organization point of view. I do actually take all of my images through Lightroom prior to taking it into Resolve, which may seem counterintuitive, but in that Lightroom phase, I do a couple things. The first thing I do is kind of a general balance of the image. And while I have the raw data, I just wanna make sure all of my highlights are in range and that the exposure and white balance are in a good place. I also knock out cropping and image transform in Lightroom. I just find their controls to be a little quicker and more intuitive. Lightroom also has some really great denoising tools now with their new AI denoise. So if you wanna do some heavy noise reduction, you might as well do it in Lightroom. This is also where I find my selects. I don't wanna take every single image I capture into Resolve. So I'll go through and mark the images that I wanna use, and those are the ones that I'll go ahead and take into Resolve. So this process within Lightroom may seem like a annoying extra step, but in reality, it's reducing your workflow down the line, and I think it speeds me up and keeps me organized. However, if you don't wanna deal with that and Lightroom will accept your raw format like a DNG, you can just go ahead and import directly into Resolve if you'd like. So from there, I'll I'll go ahead and export all of my images as 16-bit PNGs and I find that PNG is a good format for that intermediary phase. It's just a nice balance between file size and image quality and I find something like a DNG or a TIFF to be overkill from the data point of view. Again, my emphasis here is really ease of use. Like I just want to be able to get the images into Resolve as quickly as possible and not be dealing with, you know, hundreds of gigabytes of uh, intermediary photos, raw photos. So this is a quick way to efficiently get the images from the camera into Resolve. So as those are exporting, let's go ahead and open Resolve and we'll get started on grading these images. You could call this grading, you could call this photo editing. To me, I think of it as color grading because I'm working in Resolve. And I think that's one of the biggest benefits of using Resolve is it's just great practice. I think if you want to get good at using Resolve or any software, you just need a lot of repetition and just a lot of time to try things and figure out what works. And something low stress like your personal still photography, I think is a great opportunity to really experiment and just see what workflows work for you best. Okay, so now we're inside of Resolve and I've just imported all of those PNGs that we took out of Lightroom and put them in a timeline. So we can just treat these now as individual stills that we're gonna grade. 
So my typical process is to use CinePrint 16. And if you haven't seen my video on CinePrint 16, definitely go and check that out now. That'll be a great precursor to this video and kind of explain how that power grade works. So let's apply CinePrint 16 right off the bat, looking pretty funky. So we'll go ahead and change our input color space to uh, sRGB and then also change our input gamma to sRGB. So now we get to decide kind of what direction we want to take this image. Um, I think this Cineon look is really cool. And usually I just toggle between that and the 2383 and just see the differences. I think they're both cool and I might actually do a blend of both. So we'll go into our key and dial in 0.5 on print film and 0.5 on uh, Cineon. And that just kind of gives us a hybrid look between the two. And now I'm just treating this like I would treat any image that I would grade inside of Resolve. So my brain kind of just switches into Resolve mode and I just think of this as a still uh, that I'm color grading. And I think the precision that you get in Resolve makes it extremely worthwhile as well. I know that you can accomplish a lot inside of Lightroom, but for me, I'm just so used to Resolve now that it allows me to accomplish the image in my mind a lot quicker. Here's another tip that I don't think I mentioned in my previous CinePrint video. But my favorite way to dial in the overall look of the image is in this post contrast tab. And just by changing the amount of contrast here, you can drastically change the image. And then using pivot allows you to really adjust, you know, where that tonality lies. So dial in your desired level of contrast and then just change your pivot to adjust the look of the image. And that's just a great way to get a nice dense image that you can then pull down to the exposure level that you'd like without clipping or losing data. And power windows are your friend. Use them to draw the eye in. I think it makes a huge difference in kind of how your photo is perceived. So I spent maybe five minutes on this image and I think it's in a great spot. So I'm just going to move on to the next one. I think people can feel a little bit intimidated about using Resolve, but I think the important thing is just find a workflow that works for you. And as long as you're happy with the images coming out of it, that's great. Like, don't worry too much about the technicalities. Um, that kind of stuff will come with time, but just get in there and explore and find something that really speaks to you. And honestly, this is like my favorite part of taking photos. Like going on a photo walk is super enjoyable, um, but sitting down and just seeing the colors come to life and just creating that mood that you can imagine in your head from the start. Like for me, that's the magic. And I just have so much fun doing this. So this photo is a great example of why it's important to do that initial balancing step inside of Lightroom. Um, as you can see, the sky is looking a little overexposed here, but if we just bring it down with a power window, all of that information is there. So if you just pull the contrast back on the image inside of Lightroom uh, and just make sure your highlights are not clipping, all that data is going to be here inside of the PNG. And as you can see with a little power window, it, it comes back clean. Okay, so now that we have finished grading all of our images, our last step is just to pull stills and export. And my preferred method of getting stills out of Resolve is just in the color tab, right click, grab still, and then from there, export and choose uh, JPEG, PNG, whatever kind of final file format you prefer. So here are some of those final images. So that's my process of editing photos inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is just the workflow that I've got used to over the past few years, and for me, it works really well. But I'd love to know what your preferred editing process looks like. Do you just stick to Lightroom? Do you edit on your phone? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any more questions about this process, let me know and I can always do a follow-up video. Hopefully this is helpful to you. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I edit my photos, so I just wanted to clue everybody into this process. Again, the power grade I'm using is called CinePrint 16. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's just a really great power grade that I've been using for stills and video over the last year or so. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.